the game of golf, you want to set up. Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> okay, so once again, I'm going to show you guys how to do a pre trip. You guys are the tester, I'm the student, okay? And every time I describe something, just remember you got to say it in those terms. So, there are four forms, like I said, we all know it's A, B, C, or what? Full form. Okay? So, I'm going to start from A. When you stand in front of the truck, don't be up there, so be over here. The first thing I want to mention is the lights that are up here. Anytime you mention lights, you always got to say that they're clean and clear, not damaged, not broken, and then tell me what color they are, and then tell me what they're used for. You good? Okay. So I got my clearance lights up here that they're clean and clear, not damaged, not broken, they're amber in color. Okay, and I'm gonna come down to my lights. I've got my high beams and my low beams. They are also clean and clear, not damaged, not broken, and white in color. I got my turn signal lights. They are also clean and clear, not damaged, not broken, and it's amber in color. And what they're used for is my left turn signal, my right turn signal, and my four-way flashers. Good. And then you open up the hood after you do like 300 push-ups, bend your arm like this, <laughs> and just, there you go. If you're not a Steeler fan, you can't even pop over the hood because you're weak. You know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, as soon as you come to the passenger side, there are three things that we inspect on a Volvo during your test. You have your alternator. You will always find the alternator because it has red tag that's on it. Okay? You also have your belt. You will want to push on the belt and not pull it. Okay? On the belt, when we push, we want to make sure we don't have more than how many inch of play? Three quarter Three inch. Three quarter of an inch. Now, the last thing we're going to inspect is the water pump. How do we find the water pump? You find the fattest hose, and then you will chase it. And just like I told you guys before, 10 out of 10 times the truck is hot. We don't want you to put your hands in there. So you get to play it off like you know where it's at. Okay, check my alternator. Right there, <laughs> make sure it's properly mounted. And everything on the passenger side is what driven? Belt driven. Belt driven, Belt driven. everything on the driver's side? Gear driven. Still driven. Okay, we're gonna do this in a sweeping motion. First thing we're gonna cover is our three liquids, okay? We'll start from the top and work our way, sweep it down, and we'll shoot it outside to the rims. The first three liquids we wanna cover is what? Cool. We got our coolant, power steering, power steering oil. and our oil. Okay, now we're gonna to go to what is right next to the oil, which is what? Air compressor. Okay, that is your air compressor, okay? What the steering rod is on, this is your steering rod that goes right into your gearbox. Your gearbox has a hose on it, okay? Now the hose, I will say this because of the new change. I will inspect this hose to make sure it's on there tightly, it's not cut, not frayed, not leaking anything. I will inspect all my hoses the same way, okay? Now, I will now inspect my Pitman arm, okay? What's this thing called here? Castle, castle nut. nut. Castle nut. How, how can we remember that? Just like castle. I'm the king. <laughs> remember that. I'm the king. There's my castle. And there are you right there, that little small little pin, which is called what? Power pin. There you go. Okay. This long thing here is called a drag link. As you follow it, you'll see that you'll go right into your upper and your lower arm. Okay. And then your tie rod back here. There's your tie rod, okay? Now, we're gonna go over our, our, our first memory. I'm gonna teach you four memories because no matter what form you get, you gotta always say this anyways. So follow it with me. This is called a spring mount. What's the next thing? Leaf spring. Leaf spring. Shock absorber. Shock absorber. U-bolt. U-bolt, okay? Why is it called a U-bolt? It's shaped like a U. No. It's called the U-Boat because if you're not a steel fan, means your team suck. <laughs> Don't be a cowboy fan. 
Okay, second memory. We got four things that we inspect. It's called a brake chamber. What do we inspect on the brake chamber? Brake chamber, the hose. The brake chamber itself, it does have a hose. I did cover that point when I inspected up here. What are the two main parts on a brake chamber? Push, Push rod, rod and slack adjuster. adjuster. Push rod and slack adjuster. And when the brakes are released? One inch. No more than one, one inch of play. Now the third memory is really easy to remember, which is inside the rim. There are only two things that we inspect and you will remember by the motion of what I do. We lining, check the brake lining, lining and, and the brake drum. drum. Brake drum. Good. On the test, it's not called the tires, but it's called an acronym, which is ICD. I stands for what? Inflation. Inflation. What's the number? 90 to 110. 90 to 110. C stands for? Condition. What do we check on that? The cuts, wire showing. Okay. D stands for? Depth. What is the depth for the steer tires? 437. Everywhere else? 237. Good job. The only two things that we inspect on the rim is what? Illegal yes. wells and no. cracks. Okay. No cracks, no illegal wells. Okay? And the key word for lug nuts. They're all present. Is that they're all present, they're not loose, not cracked, not missing, not broken. What's the only thing that we check on the hub seal? No oil. Good job. So there's our pre trip for A. Let's get a million likes here so we all can share the wealth. Okay, now we're going to go to form B. Y'all want to move that way so you're not video tipping my head. Okay. Now, if you get form B, you will start from the driver mirror to the back of the tractor. Okay. First thing I'm going to inspect is my mirror. I want to make sure it's properly mounted. My big mirror is called what? Flat. Small mirror is called what? Okay. I want to make sure it's not cracked, and I want to check uh, check my doors, make sure it opens, and it closes, and then I'll open it again. There are two things that I'm going to inspect. It's what? my what? Weather strip. My and weather seal hinges. and door my door hinges. I want to check my steps to make sure it's properly mounted and that it supports your weight. You will just lean on it. And if I need to get uh, to my battery box, I just pointed out where it's at. I will unlatch on both sides and my battery box is in the back. Okay, I will run into this light. What is this light called? Marker light. It's your marker light. What do I say about any kind of lights? Clean and clear. 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 My dam's not broken. What color? Amber. Amber. Tell me what they're used for. Four -way Four -way Four -way Four -way Four -way left turn signal and forward flashes. Now I'm going to go over my DEF cap. I'm going to make sure it's on there tightly and properly. It's on there tightly. My dam is not broken. And it's there. I will expect my fuel cap the same way. See how easy that point was? Okay. Now, if you guys remember yesterday as we did our pre trip, you guys come over here more. What is the letter that I told you guys we would do our pre-trip? Yeah. The U-shape. We're going to shoot that way, come across, and then we'll come out this axle. Okay? Now, do I need to mention these steps? No. No, because no, on, the, on the form it's only mentioned once, and we already did it up front. I'm going to expect my fuel tank to make sure it's not damaged, it's not broken, it's not leaking any fuel. I will visually look at my fuel strap to make sure my fuel strap go around my fuel tank and it's not damaged, not broken. This is my catwalk. I want to make sure my catwalk is properly mounted, free of debris. I'm going to check my frame to make sure it's not cracked and no illegal wells. I will inspect my drive shaft in the middle to make sure it's not damaged, not broken. I will run into my torque arm where there are two of them where I need to just mention one. The torque arm is right here, also known as Dog bone. bone. Okay. Now I'm gonna shoot out that way, which is my exhaust system. I'm gonna expect that to make sure it's not damaged, not broken. Now I'm gonna go over my first memory, which you guys should already know. First memory is what? Spring, spring mount. mount. We got our spring mount. We have our lee spring. We have our U-boat shock absorber, and something else is added to it. Yeah, air badge. Air badge. You want to check your air badge to make sure it's properly mounted and it's properly inflated. Okay. My second memory, there are four things that we inspect on the bottom of the leaf spring, which is called what? Your brake chamber. What are we inspecting the brake chamber for? Brake. Damages, okay? You want to make sure it's properly mounted. It does have a hose, and because it's a different form, I will say this, because brake chamber always have a hose. So I'm going to turn around and say this. I'm going to inspect that hose, make sure it's on there tightly, not cut, not loose, and not leaking anything. I will inspect all my hoses the same way. Two main parts on a brake chamber is what? 
Slack adjustment and push rod. Push rod and slack adjustment when it breaks the release, there's no more than one. One inch. One inch of play. Now we're gonna go inside the rim. There are two things we expect on the rim. Inside the rim is what? Break lining. Break lining. Break, 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 break drum. Now I'm gonna go through my ICD, and before I do my ICD, something's added because they're dual tires, which is? Bus spacing. I wanna make sure it's what? For your debris. Yeah. For your debris. I stands for? What's the number? 230 seconds on inflation. I'm thinking about your football team, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I stands for? Okay, what's the number for inflation? 90 to 110. You guys should remember that because that's the, the number of your credit score. Come on, man. That's hella low. <laughs> C stands for? Condition. Okay, condition, you just explain to your mind what you're explaining. Okay, just think of your tires of your car. D stands for what? Yeah. What's the depth for the drive tire? Two thirty seconds. Steer tires? Four thirty seconds. Good job. Two things you inspect on the rims are what? Crack, cracks or illegal wells. wells. Cracks or illegal wells. Good job. And then keyword for lug nuts. Present. Okay. Remember, lug nuts are back there. Don't say these are lug nuts. These are not lug nuts. The lug nuts are back there. Then we're gonna check the hub seal, right? Axle seal. seal. Oh ho ho! Man, who's checking you on that? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the axle seal, make sure it's not what? Leaking. Leaking. Good job. Then we're going to go to the back of the truck. What is this called? But we all know the real name. Splash guard. It's just a splash guard. So what's the only thing we got to say about it? It's present. Uh, it's present. Okay. So here's a little heads up for you guys. If you guys end up ripping one of these, drop and you drop a trailer, and you got to drive down the road maybe a couple miles to pick up the trailer, Find something to like a like a t-shirt or cardboard and go get them. Build a mud flap. If you are caught on the road bobtailing with no mud flap, that's a big fine too. So it's stupid because if you bobtail, you gotta have a mud flap. But if you don't have a mud flap or you're pulling the trailer, it's allowed. But if you drop the trailer and there's no mud flap, that's not allowed. That's a heavy fine. So like I said, I, the reason why I say that to you. I had to drop a trailer and I lost the mud flap somewhere. I went ghetto, so I just kind of ripped the shirt, a black shirt, mm -hmm. and just used it as a mud as flap a mud. <laughs> until I got to a truck stop, which is about okay. DOT reflective tape got to be at what percent? 100%. And on the side of the trailer? 80%. On the back of the trailer? 100%. My teaching? 100%. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to cover my lights, okay? My lights over here are clean and clear. Not damaged, not broken, and it's red in color. What it's used for is my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my four-way flasher. If I jump on my service brake, it becomes my brake light. If I turn on my low beams, it becomes my running light. Okay? I also got a light that's also in the middle, which is also clean and clear, not damaged, not broken, it's white in color. What that is used for is my reverse light. Okay? What your football team is used to backing up. You guys play the Steeler Nation. Okay, all right, there's your form B. So now we're going to go over form C. Form C is the trailer. Okay, now when you stand on form C, remember the coupling system does not belong to form C. It belongs, it's, it's, it's own section. Okay, no matter what form you get, you will always do the coupling system, but you would do it after you do your pre-trip. C is just the trailer, okay? So now if I get form C, the first thing I'm gonna mention, I'm gonna stand right here because when you test, the truck and trailer will be coupled, okay? First thing I'm gonna cover is my clearance lights up top to make sure that they're clean and clear, my damage is not broken and it's amber in color. I'm gonna come up to my head of board. I'm gonna stick my head of board to make sure there's no damages. Okay, and then I'm gonna check my rivets to make sure it's not missing more than what? Three, three in a row. Then I'm gonna walk to the side of my trailer, I'm gonna inspect my DOT reflective tape, gotta be at what percent? 50%. Good job. As I continue to walk this way, I'm gonna stop right before my landing gear because there are two things that we inspect on the bottom of the trailer, which is what? Your cross members, okay? Your cross members, and then the floor itself. Make sure there's no holes, no gaps. 
And I'm going to inspect my landing gear leg to make sure it's not bent, not damaged, and it's properly mounted, and it doesn't need any attention to it because there's no damage. Everything else that's around it is called your support beam. You will inspect those as well for damages, okay? As you continue to walk to the side of the trailer, I'm going to run right into, what's this light called? Marker light. Marker light. What do we say about lights, period? And clean and clear. Clean and clear, not, clear, not, not damaged, broken. not broken. What color? Amber. 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 What is it used for? Left turn signal. Left turn signal and forward flashes. Good job. Now, as I continue to walk back here, I will use this axle right here to do my pre-trip. Why? Because this is where the tandem release arm is. I will inspect that handle to make sure it's in locking position, it's not damaged, not broken. Now, because I told you guys that on the Swift trailers, it's not air ride. And because it's not air ride, there's no shock absorber, no airbags. So when I cover my first memory, all I've got to say is my spring mount, leaf spring, and my U-bolt. Remember that. But before I go over my first memory, I'm going to inspect my torque arm. In other words, the other name for this is called? Dog bone. Dog bone. Okay, here it is. And you guys can see it. Sure. Just just say it's torque arm because you know if you guys if I was testing you and you guys said that, you dog wound, I already know what you're talking about. I'm not anal about it, you know what I mean? I know how to choose my battle. But they're gonna want it. Some of some of them want you to say the real meaning. And people that usually want you to say the real meaning. <laughs> so, first memory is what? Spring mount. Spring mount. Then you go to lee spring and then u bolt. Okay. Your second memory is what? Break chambers. chambers. There are four things that we expect. You already gave you the answer. The break chamber. Now. Brake chamber has what? It starts with an H. Brake hose. Okay, now it has a hose. Because it's a different form, you got to tell me what you're expecting the hose for. Make sure it's on there tightly, not cut, not frayed, not leaking anything, and then get all my points. I will expect all my hoses the same way. See that? Two main parts on the brake chamber is what? The push rod slack and slack adjuster. Push rod and slack adjuster. When the brakes are released, no more then. Okay, now we're going to go inside the rim. Two things we inspect inside the rim is what? Brick lining and brick drum. And brick drum. 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 Now, I want to do my ICD. Before I do my ICD, something's out of here, which is what? Butt spacing. Make sure it's what? Free of debris. Free of debris. Now, what's the acronym again? ICD. Okay. <coughs> Remember your credit score, okay? I stands for what? What is it? 90 to 110. 90 to 110. C stands for? Okay. You already know what you're explaining from condition. D stands for? Okay, your football team is what? <laughs> your football team is always on second and 32, man. Okay? Two things we inspect on the rims are what? Keyword for lug nuts. What's the only thing that we inspect on the actual seat? Good job. Keyword for the splash guard? Okay? Now, this is called what? Door tie. Door tie. Door tie. Door tie. Okay, you want to expect that there. Majority of it will be a hook. Mine doesn't have it. So you want to make sure that the hook is there. Okay, now we will cover this light, but before we do, what do we need to say about it? It's clean and clear. Clean and clear. Not, clean and clear. Uh, the dam is not broken. What color? Amber color. Okay, what's the name of it? ABS light. ABS light. Good job. <coughs> now, you will come to the back of the door. First thing that we're going to expect on the back of the doors is what? Your hinges. Okay? To make sure that they're all present. Then I'm going to cover my lights up here. I want to make sure that they're clean and clear, not damaged, not broken. And it's red in color. What it's used for, I got my left turn signal, my right turn signal, my four way flashers, my brake light. And then when I turn on my low beams, it becomes my running lights. Okay? I got a license plate light here, which is called what? Indicator light. This is my indication light. Okay, we got our DOT bumper. It's important, but it's not on the test. But 
this is, we got to make sure that DOT reflective tape got to be at what percent? 100. Okay, the only thing that we expect on the passenger side is the handle to the landing gear to make sure it's in locking position, it's not damaged, not broken. Okay? There's your ABC and AKA full form. Now, what did you say on this side? We got to check. Uh, the, the landing gear. Oh, the landing gear. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now let's cover the coupling. These are some of the classmates. I don't, I don't have right to um, do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On your pre-check, you got 21 points for each section. So if you get a full form, just add 21 points three times. Okay. Now on your coupling system, you you got 11 points. First thing you want to expect is I'm gonna check my what's the red? Emergency. emergency. Light. What's the blue? Service. Okay. I want to inspect my emergency and my service to make sure that the hoses is not cut because if it is, it will be leaking air. I will inspect uh, my rubbers to make sure it's not damaged. If it is, I gotta replace it. On my power cord, I'm gonna check the wires and make sure that the wires are not showing. I will inspect my glad hands on my trailer the same way I just inspected my glad hands on my trailer. Okay? So I got one, two, third point is gap because now we're gonna attack the fifth wheel. We're gonna squat. I'm gonna make sure that there's no gap between my fifth wheel and my apron. And when the kink pen hits my fifth wheel, I gotta make sure that the locking jaw comes around it. With the grease is on, that is called my skid plate. I have my safety latch here, which shares a point with my release arm on the other side. Okay, this is my mounting bolt. I'll inspect my mounting bolt and make sure they're not damaged. This is my fifth wheel locking pins to make sure that's in locking position. Now, if I was to unscrew these mounting bolt, I will lift this whole thing up, which is called a platform, which sits on a plate. Okay, and last but not least, I want to make sure that my splash guard to my landing gear leg is three to five feet clear. And just like that, my free trip is 100%. What was that? Yeah. All right, you have to Feel better? Yeah. Now, let me throw the shaka. Subscribe to this. Yeah. You'll pass your test, huh? Yeah, that's it. <laughs>